Hello, my name is Grant, and I'm going to be assembling a Crop Care LGX25 trailer sprayer today. I'm going to start by opening it up, going through it, and let you know how to put it together. To start with, we have the tank and the uh, hand spray gun. I'll move this off the table to get it out of the way. We have the bag of hardware, manuals, you got your uh, wheel and tires, your front hitch support arms and hitch, you got your boom supports, and then your, your boom parts along with your axle here and your trailer frame. Good thing to remember when putting the frame on the tank is that the pump is in the front and the drain is in the back. I'm going to start by taking the 5 16 bolts and the 5 16 lock washers and put them together. Now that I've got the 5 16 bolts in the tank, I'm going to get the half inch wrench and tighten the bolts. Now be careful not to over tighten the bolts because the inserts into the tank are plastic. All right, now that the frame is on the tank, I'm going to get the uh, hitch, put the hitch on. Just a little tidbit for you, when assembling the front hitch, make sure all the parts are together before you tighten everything. Now I'm going to take my 9 16 wrench and tighten everything up. All right, next is the axle. And what helps, a little tip for you, is to get a block of wood, cardboard box, and prop up the back. We have our spacers that go on next, along with our flat washers. All right, now that the wheel is on, you're going to need a 532nd Allen wrench to put your shaft collar on the shaft. Now, doing this, you want to make sure that there's a half inch of the shaft sticking out at the end once you put the shaft collar on. That evens the both sides out. Now that the wheels and the axle are on, I'm going to take the support from the back out, and we're going to put the boom supports on for the boom. All right, to put the boom supports on, I'm going to get four 3 8 inch carriage bolts and 3 8 inch flange nut. All right, now that the boom supports are on, we're going to put the uh, center boom mount and boom wings on. And you'll get your carriage bolts. Now that we have the center boom mount installed, we're going to put the wings on. And for this, we use lock nuts. Now you'll want to tighten the lock nut so that it stays in position. It can also be folded or break away. All right, next we're going to go to the boom spray nozzles and attach that. All right, we're going to start by taking the hardware off of the spray nozzles so that we can insert them on the end of the wing. All right, now that the hardware is off, you'll notice that there's a short hose and a long hose. When you're facing the back, the right side will be the short hose. And I'll start by inserting the boom in its sockets. All right, we're going to start by putting the plastic nut onto the uh, spray nozzle on each side. You'll notice here, as I take this off, I'll show you. The nozzle has a, uh, a line in here. It's kind of, you can see it fans side to side here. And you're going to want that fan to be aimed in a way where it goes at a slight angle here and doesn't hit the unit. So if you have it straight this way, perpendicular to the unit, it's going hit to the, hit the boom support. So you're going to want it at a slight angle towards the back. That enables both of them to kind of cross each other nicely. All right, next we'll attach the boom hose to the boom. 
And uh, what you're going to need is either a flathead screwdriver or a quarter inch nut driver. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver right now. So you want to slide that hose clamp onto the hose and then press the hose onto the uh, T. Next, we have two zip ties that are going to go on the boom here. And if you go two holes down, you just take your zip tie and that'll secure this hose out of the way so when we wrap the uh, spray gun hose around the unit you won't have this get in the way. Now that that's done we're going to get the center zip tie around the boom and attach it here. Alright now that the boom hoses are attached we've got the spray gun to put on the hose. So that's pretty simple you just take the tape off the spray gun handle and attach it to the hose. All right, now that the tape is off the handle, you'll notice that there's a, a strainer in here. And that uh, can fall out pretty easy, so just um, make sure that you realize that. Taking the hose, handle, threads, together it goes. All right, now that the whole unit is complete, all you have to do is connect the power and get out there and do some work with your LGX 25.